What's up everybody? Jacob here at Upper Valley Honda and I'm about to give you a first ever walk around on the brand new fully redesigned gorgeous 2023 Honda HRV baby. So without further ado, let's take a look. As you'll notice, this vehicle comes with a fully redesigned front grille. Each trim level on the 2023 Honda HRV comes with a different grille. This is the sport package, so it comes with the sport grille. As you'll notice, it has these geometric lines. On the base level, it comes with a honeycomb shaped grille. And the highest trim level, the EXL, comes with a completely different gloss black grille. Since this is the sport trim level, which is right in the middle of the pack, you do get these awesome black accents scattered throughout the vehicle. You'll notice the black accented Honda sign. And my favorite part is these 18 inch black aluminum alloy rims. So on the EXL and on the base model, you will find 17 inch rims that are not a black color. They're more like a silver white chrome color, but these black Rims look awesome on the side profile of the vehicle. You'll notice how sleek this design is. That is because the entire design was inspired by the newly redesigned 2022 Honda Civic. It rides on the Honda Civic platform, making it longer than previous generation HRVs and gives it a taller ride height, which makes it excellent for off-roading and other hazardous conditions backed by its all-wheel drive system, which makes sure that you can get safe and sound to any location that you're going to. It makes it perfect for summer road trips, and it's an excellent all-around vehicle, especially for these harsh New England winters. So let's take a closer look at some of the awesome features of the brand new fully redesigned Honda HRV. Before we get fully into it, I did want to note that this HRV Sport is a demo vehicle that we have for you to test drive right here at Upper Valley Honda in White River Junction, Vermont. So this vehicle is not going in, not going anywhere. If you would like to take a test drive to see how this vehicle handles for yourself or to see how it looks in person, come stop by 63. Ralph Lehman Drive in White River Junction, Vermont, so you can see for yourself how awesome this new redesign is. But without further ado, let's take a look at some of the features, including these brand new redesigned headlights, super sleek, almost giving kind of like an Audi-esque shape to the HRV. These are daytime running lights and they do flash orange when you lock or unlock the vehicle and they will be turned on as you are driving. I already talked about the awesome 18 inch black alloy rims. Some other details that you'll find on the sport trim level are these black gloss accented side view mirrors that do come with blind spot monitoring. Another awesome safety feature included in the Honda Safety Suite. This vehicle averages 25 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway for an average MPG of 27. Under the hood, you will find a 158 horsepower, two liter inline four cylinder engine, which is larger than the previous generation, making it more powerful, faster, and quicker to drive all around. You, as I mentioned before, you do get the all-wheel drive system, which is complemented by this awesome sticker on the rear. Once again, you'll notice the black Honda badge, these super cool redesigned tail lights, which are darker on the sport package compared to other trim levels. And then the decals on this sport package are blacked out to give it that nice sporty look. Going back to the side profile, 
you do also get a capless gas tank, which is really neat. No need to twist, unscrew, simply push to open and close, and you could just fill it automatically. It's a little bit more convenient feature. Here's some more informational items about the 2023 Honda HRV. The interior comes with a leather wrapped steering wheel, leather wrapped shift knob, shift knob, which is standard on the sport appearance package. You get heated front seats, a six speaker audio system, a seven inch color touchscreen that does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. On this specific model, it is not wireless. You do have to plug your phone in to get access to that. It does have blind spot monitoring and a host of other safety features, including blind spot information and rear cross traffic monitoring. On the interior, you'll find features such as automatic climate control system, an awesome rear passenger touch lighting. I will show you all of these features on the interior in one moment. I just wanted to give you the full rundown. Of course, telescopic steering wheel, floor mats. We already talked about the alloy rims and sport styling, but the things that keep you safe are all a part of the Honda Sensing suite, including awesome adaptive cruise control, which essentially has the car drive itself for you. Now it won't change lanes for you automatically like a Tesla might. However, it will keep you in between the lanes and follow the car in front of you, brake for you and speed up for you as well. It is a great system for long drives. Personally, I use it on my Honda Civic all the time. So now, as I mentioned, this is a demo vehicle, so we will not sell this vehicle. We, you can drive it if you come see us at Upper Valley Honda. But without further ado, let's take a look at the interior features. So what you just saw was with the key in hand or around me, I don't actually need to lock and unlock the vehicle. So, well, I mean, I'll show you, I'll lock it. All I have to do to unlock the vehicle is put my hand on it, which is so convenient. I absolutely love that feature. And then if I were to exit the car, all I need to do to lock it is put my hand on it and boop, it's locked. And now it's unlocked. How handy and nifty is that? But moving on to the amazing interior, which is a huge upgrade for the HRV. On this sport package, you will notice orange stitching throughout the interior of the vehicle, some paper floor mats to ensure that this car is clean for when you come on your test drive. And these plaited, textured seats, seats super comfortable to sit in. On the sport and base package, it is a manual changing seat. However, on the highest EXL trim level, it comes with eight way power seating for full comfort. You'll notice the leather wrapped steering wheel and leather wrapped gear shift knob. But my favorite part about this upgrade is the honeycomb ventilated climate control bar that stretches throughout the cockpit, which also has a speaker system built into it. So it is it has a dual purpose. This we have equipped with an additional accessory, which is a rain guard. So if you choose to drive it in the rain, you can drive it with the windows down and stay relatively dry. Here's what the digital gauge cluster looks like on the brand new 2023 Honda HRV. I mentioned it is digital. The previous one was analog. And the coolest part is that you can customize the left gauge cluster with whatever, with whatever information you would like all from your steering wheel. So right now it will tell you that my seatbelt is unfastened. However, pardon me, if I fasten it, You'll notice that that light has now turned green. You have a host of other options 
that you could customize this HRV to have by pressing this home button and toggling with this switch. My favorite is the range and fuel setting, which this vehicle just got in off of port. It is still in kilometers, but we will change that to miles for you, rest assured. But this tells you the range you have until the car is empty and your average fuel consumption so you can know if you are driving economically or not. Speaking of which, it does come with different drive modes. You can see based on that green icon with the words Econ next to it that we are currently in eco-friendly mode. You can change your drive modes right here with this toggle. So I'll show you the screen. Focus in, there we go. If I go up, I'm now in normal mode. I go down, I'm in eco mode. If I go down one more, I'm in snow mode, which is best for driving in snowy conditions using the full force of that Honda all wheel drive system. These modes will consume a different amount of gas. The most eco-friendly mode is of course eco to which the engine won't get as much kick and as much power, but is great for daily driving and you will save as much fuel as possible. Great for times like these when gas prices are so high. The orange stitching continues along the steering wheel. And then on this portion of the steering wheel is an aspect that I use all the time personally on my 2022 Honda Civic. This is where you have your adaptive cruise control features. Right here, you will notice it is lane, this is your lane keeping assist button. So I press that, it will turn on right there for you. If you're driving along the road or on the highway on, at speeds above 20 miles per hour, that icon on the dashboard will turn green, meaning that the Honda Sensing Suite can sense the lines and will keep you centered. If you are at risk of veering off, it, the steering wheel will vibrate and a yellow uh, icon will appear saying place hands on steering wheel. That will happen roughly every 30 seconds while using it. Right here is your cruise control button, which will also appear on the dashboard. Once you are at highway speeds, all you need to do to set it is go down like this with your thumb and that will set the cruise control at whatever speed you are going and then you can increase the speed by going up or decrease the speed by going down. Now, the best part about this cruise control is that you can follow the car in front of you at a predetermined length. So, using these bars, right? One second, please, thank you very much. Using these bars, you can set your following distance from a maximum of four car lengths away to as little as one car length away. Meaning, if you are at the highway, if you are on the highway traveling at 70 miles per hour and the car in front of you, which is at three car lengths that you're following, decides to slow down to 50, your car will also slow down to 50 miles per hour and maintain that three car space. Then, once that vehicle speeds up again or changes lanes, giving you free room, your car will accelerate on its own to your previous speed, which was 70 miles an hour. Super great for long drives, super easy to drive and use. Now, this is a seven inch upgraded touchscreen that Honda provides. As I mentioned before, it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, in order to show you that, I would need to plug my phone in right here or right down there, which will then allow me to use the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto features. However, since I do not have a cable handy, I will not be able to demonstrate that for you. On the EXL version, it does come with a wireless phone charger as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So all you need to do is step into your car and your car will automatically connect and show you your device's apps on the screen. Besides that, you do also have your Bluetooth, you got your radio, you got your phone capabilities so you can call anybody you'd like, and I am a fan of these knobs that Honda has included, especially when it comes to the climate control because they make this cool clicking sound. Now when you press this, nothing happens, 
when you press this, it turns on and off the climate control. If you press this, it turns on auto for either heating or cooling. You got your heated seat button right here with three options, and that is for both front passengers. And then, of course, you got your shift knob down here. But you'll notice under your drive mode changer, you also have hill descent control, which once you press that button, it will appear on the digital dashboard. And that allows you to maintain your speed while going down a hill, which is exactly something that you would use while descending a hill in snowy, slippery, icy conditions. And let's say you wanted to main maintain a speed of 15 miles per hour. You got your parking brake. Make sure your car won't go anywhere. And then you got your brake hold option, which is really cool. So I pressed this button, right? And it appeared right down there, that green rectangle. So now if I put this car in drive and I won't be going far, if I release my foot from the brake, it is not currently on the brake. This vehicle is not going anywhere because that brake hold is on. But if I were to take it off, it is no longer there. And I released my foot from the brake. Oh, look at that. We are inching forward, ladies and gentlemen. So cool little feature that you have there. Ton of store sp storage space right here on the inside. I mean, hey, look at that. My, I am elbow deep in this center console. One last cockpit view from the driver's perspective. But let me put this baby in park and head on over to the back seat. Here is another perspective from the back seat of what the front cockpit looks like. I know I'm just one man's opinion, but I think it looks gorgeous and definitely a huge upgrade from the previous generation HRV. I mean, this is sleek, this is stylish. This is some place you could spend all day in. Now, as for the back seat, I have a ton of room back here. I'm six feet tall and look how much legroom I got. This is at least like four inches, right? Uh, my knees are not touching the driver's seat in front of me. Plenty of room, could easily fit three of me back here. Perfect for if you've got kids, if you've got friends, you wanna go anywhere, there's space for everybody. And something that has not been on any Honda before is these tap lights, and you got two of them. Fun, cool to play with, super bright. You could read a book back here, even at nighttime, and have plenty of light. Now, these rear seats do come with a 60-40 split. So if we were going on a ski trip, road trip, little summer surf session, we could fit that right back here, and I could still sit comfortably right in this seat as you're driving me to the beach. So perfect for a cooler, you know, whatever you need. It is great for a summer road trip, winter, you know, ski trip. The Honda HRV is a great vehicle for young families, for old families that like to get out there, move around, especially with the all wheel drive and decent uh, fuel economy. The Honda HRV is a great subcompact SUV in its segment. The rear also has this all weather floor mat to make sure that everything stays nice and clean in there. And if it doesn't, it's easy to wash out. And you'll notice right over there, that it does come with lights and a 12 volt outlet. Let's take one more walk around of the vehicle. It's now back on the outside of the Honda HRV. On this, on this sport package, it does not come with a tap to open trunk. You will have to do that manually, so I hope you've been hitting the gym. But as I mentioned before, the HRV rides on the new Civic platform, which is much longer than the old HRV generation, meaning you get more storage space and cargo capacity in the 2023 
HRV, and here is that 12 volt outlet and that light that I was showing you previously. So you could see everything you need back here, even at nighttime. So, so I'm so used to a button. I gotta slam that shut just like that. That beeping sound means that, hey, I'm still on, but you got out of the car with the keys. You sure you wanna do that? So it's just a warning system that Honda has included. And here's one last look at the exterior of this vehicle. Doesn't it look great with the daytime running lights? And this time I'm actually taking the brand new redesigned 2023 Honda HRV on a test drive. So, allow me to get comfortable real quick. I gotta adjust the mirrors, of course, stay safe. Seats a little close. And so obviously it does have a telescopic steering wheel. So I can move it to my desired location, which is awesome. And now this sport edition doesn't have the eight way power seating. It still does have manual seating. So you see me pumping it to get lower or higher or to shift forward or back, but definitely comfortable to sit in. The seats aren't super bolstered. You can move around a little bit in them, but it's definitely not a race car. So you have no need for huge bolstering. Now I'm going to go over a quick speed bump so we can see how it feels. Small little bump, not too bad at all. As I mentioned in the other videos that you may or may not have seen, the Honda HRV rides on a new platform shared by the Honda Civic, and it has a taller ride height than the uh, old generation HRV, and is also longer, so it has more cargo capacity. But just from driving it around in the parking lot right here, super nice easy drive let's check out the turning radius really quick so if i start at one parking spot cut the wheel all the way to the right huh i can easily fit into the parking spot that's two spots over so i would say it's about like a 10 foot maybe even less of a turning radius so definitely a nimble ride and it is a sub compact suv so it drives like a sedan that's a little bit higher off the ground um me personally i have driven many other vehicles before for example i owned a subaru cross track for quite a while and that ride was a lot more rigid than this just felt super stiff it was slow acceleration not the most nimble of cars but this this feels comfortable this is a daily driver that you would actually enjoy getting in every morning and commuting to work or going on a long road trip the cargo capacity in here has increased so if you fold the back seats down you could easily put in snowboards skis surfboards uh on top you could attach kayaks so it is a great vehicle for a summer or winter road trip especially since it has uh honda's all-wheel drive system and in fact in the, for the winter it does have a snow mode which uh, you know, keeps you safe in slippery uh, wet or frozen conditions I'm cruising through local back roads right now and even right now that I'm going only 20 miles an hour or about like 30 I would say actually is more accurate if I turn on the lane keeping assist feature, it will keep me in my lane. Let me just find a better area to demonstrate really quickly. There we 
go. Uncrowded road. Something on the road, so allow me to yield to oncoming traffic before I show you. But the interior is super refined. Oh, they're letting me go. Thank you, kind stranger. As I was saying, the interior is refined. They do have honeycomb slot uh, ventilation system and speaker system that just looks super clean and new. But here is the lane keeping assist feature that I mentioned previously once it activates. And just like that, it's keeping itself in the lane without my hands, which is really neat, you know, on long drives on the highway, pair the lane keeping assist feature with the adaptive cruise control and <laughs> you essentially have a self-driving car. Now it's not self-driving, self-driving, because it won't shift lanes for you, it won't take an exit for you, but it'll keep you in your lane at your desired speed, slow down when the traffic in front of you slows down, speeds up when that traffic moves or speeds up. So great for long drives, definitely. This car does also get some, some very pretty scenery happening right now loving the area that I'm in. Um, this car does average 27 miles per gallon, 25 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. So with an average fuel rating of 27 miles per gallon, it's pretty standard, but it's not bad, you know? And especially if you're a highway driver, 30 miles per gallon is exactly the bare minimum of what you want with gas prices being how they are nowadays. This particular HRV that I'm in is a sport trim level, so it's right in the middle. You won't get all the bells and whistles like wireless uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but you still do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is just wired, meaning you have to plug in your phone uh, to one of the USB ports in order to have that functionality. And do a three-point turn here and start heading around back. But what I love about the sport package is that it just, in my opinion, it looks the best out of all the trim levels. On the exterior, you get 18-inch uh, black alloy rims. You get uh, gloss black side mirrors, uh, a sport grill which just looks super clean uh, and contrasts the car color very well. And then on the interior, uh, you could probably see it a little bit right here. It does come, yep, there it is, with orange stitching throughout the vehicle, which is super, super nice. Now I'm gonna find a bit of a straightaway so I can accelerate and tell you what it feels like. The EXL, uh, which is the highest trim level, does come with a sunroof, which I'm a huge fan of, super awesome. This sport package does not come with a sunroof. huge fan of the digital gauge cluster so it just tells me exactly the speed that I'm going in digits you don't have to try to assume based on a needle moving back and forth and then uh, on one of the digital gauge clusters I see how much uh, range I have until empty and my average fuel consumption which is just one of the settings that's available to have on your digital gauge cluster super cool super useful. Um, me personally right now, I am driving a 2022 Honda Civic uh, as my daily commuter vehicle and I use that functionality all the time and it's, I almost play a game with myself. It's like I'm trying to average the most miles per gallons as possible so that uh, <laughs> it makes me drive more efficiently. 
but let me step on the gas right now. And I am going directly uphill. And it's not, you know, gonna floor you back into your seat, um, but it's not meant to. It is a reliable engine. Uh, under the hood is an upgraded two liter inline four cylinder. Uh, on the previous generation Honda HRV, there was a 1.5 liter. Uh, four-cylinder engine so you do get that larger engine which does have 158 horsepower more than the previous generation so you are going to be able to uh, go 0 to 60 quicker you're going to be able to go faster and it's just a more powerful ride in general but as a daily commuter vehicle as a family friendly vehicle as a first car the Honda HRV seems ideal, honestly. Uh, the, sp the leather wrapped steering wheel on the uh, sport trim level is super comfortable to grip and work with. And we are now pulling back into the dealership right after this roundabout. On the center console, right, Ooh, you can't see behind the, uh, the seven inch touchscreen, but it's all leather wrapped. So the interior, it, do it doesn't feel cheap. It feels quality. Um, it's very nice, smooth to the touch. And you know, definitely, definitely a wow factor for, for an HRV, you know, kind of, kind of impressive. Here we are back at Upper Valley Honda. Now let me give you a quick pan on what the interior looks like. I just gotta grab my phone out of the, the phone holder, but here we go. Here's the uh, digital gauge cluster. Here is the uh, seven inch touch screen along with the climate control, which makes these cool clicky noises. More of the seating. Here's the leather wrapped section that I was telling you about. This is, pre this is pretty neat. The little area underneath there. This is my little handy car holder. Plenty of room in the back. You can fit three, count them, one, two, three, full size adults in there. And, this vehicle is a demo vehicle, so it's not going anywhere. It is available for you to come test drive and see for yourself right here at Upper Valley Honda, 63 Ralph Lehman Drive, White River Junction, Vermont. That's an exterior shot of the 2023 redesigned Honda HRV. I think it looks stunning. I love those daytime running lights, by the way. So if you're interested in seeing the full specs of this vehicle, you could visit us online at www.uppervalleyhonda.com. You could stop by in person. Once again, 63 Ralph Lehman Drive in White River Junction, Vermont. Uh, and please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we're also on TikTok, Upper Valley Honda on all platforms. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really hope to see you here soon. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one.